What's up, everybody, and welcome to this week's edition of Seahawks Central Sports. As always, I'm Sarah Tamer. And I'm Jordan Harjik. We have exclusive interviews this week, along with a full recap on all of our sporting events from this past weekend. The women's golf team was at home in the Port City this weekend, hosting the 15th annual Landfall Tradition Tournament. The course and the competition was tough, as the Seahawks matched up against 18 teams, including top-ranked teams like Alabama, Virginia, and Wake Forest. As a team, UNCW ended three rounds of play with a plus 56, and tied their season low with an overall 296 in the final round on Sunday. As for individuals, junior Liberty Anderson was the big leader for the Seahawks, ending the tournament tied at 45th, shooting 10 over par. Women's golf will be in the offseason until February 5th, where they will travel to Florida to play in the UCF Challenge. Women's tennis was in action this weekend, partaking in the Hokie Women's Tennis Ball Invitational, hosted by Virginia Tech on Sunday. Junior, Madara Strom, finished as the runner-up of Maroon Singles flight. In doubles, sophomore Laura Gomez and freshman Celeste Mutate captured fifth place in the Hokies doubles main bracket by beating George Washington's Maria Siopacha and Allison Hansen, 8-6. The Lady Seahawks, who played in their final tournament of the fall season, ended up 2-4 and four in singles and 2-2 two and two in doubles on the final day. The girls begin their spring campaign on January 22, 2017, against Furman University at noon. The women's soccer season ended on Sunday afternoon as the Hawks lost a heartbreaker to William & Mary in the CAA quarterfinals. The game was tied 2-2 at the end of regulation, with scores by freshman midfielder Brittany Matsinger and senior Callie McLean for the Hawks. Yeah, the game resorted in penalty kicks, where the Tribe were outscored by the Seahawks 5-4, sending them to the semifinals against top rank Northeastern. UNCW ended their season with an overall record of 10-5-4. Tough break, ladies, but congratulations on an outstanding season. Men's soccer edged out Delaware this past Halloween weekend 1-0. The only goal of the day was scored by redshirt junior Julio Moncada, who was previously named both CAA and NCAA Player of the Week. Reporter Corby Slaughter had the opportunity to talk with Julio about the past matchup as well as his prestigious NCAA recognition. Thanks, guys. I'm here with junior soccer standout Julio Moncada. Julio, the other week you were named the NCAA Men's Soccer Player of the Week. How did it feel to receive such a high honor? Um, I feel honored uh, receiving that award, um, but I think it's, uh, it's a team award. Um, I want to say um, that we all put the effort in. It's not only me. I think it's the whole team, and it's an award like for the whole team. It's not, a, it's not only me, but uh, I, feel, I feel great, and I feel that that um, makes me want to go out there and give even more. Um, on the pitch. Okay, and you're heading towards the end of your season. You have two games left. You're facing two great opponents in the CAA, an offensive-minded Delaware team, a defensive-minded Elon team. What do you guys need to do as a squad to ensure victories in those games, and what do you need to do personally to help that effort? Um, I think that the, the we, we, we need to focus on, on our team first and what we can do, what we're capable of doing. We've shown that we have a great team, and when we go out there and we're focused and we really have the desire to win, to win, we, we, we can win those games. I think it's more the focus on us and how we, do we approach those games and, and make sure that, that we're there, our mentality is there, our, our, our desire is there, and, and we will win if, if that's, that's there. All right, Julio, thank you for your time. We wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season. Everybody, make sure that you guys go out and support Julio and the rest of the men's Seahawks as they make the push to the postseason. For Seahawks Central Sports, I'm Corby Slaughter. Back to you guys in the studio. And with a recap of our men's hockey game this past weekend, here's Christy Ludwig with the latest. Christy? Hey guys, I'm out front of Wagner Hall where the men's ice hockey team is preparing to do their traditional pre-game skate down Chancellor's Walk, what they call the Flying V. They've been doing this tradition for five years to get the Seahawks spirit going. We were able to get some footage, including a special point of view to get an inside look at the Flying V. What does this tradition mean to you? Uh, this tradition's uh, pretty unique. It's kind of, it's cool. It kind of, you know, it spreads team spirit around the campus. It really gets people going. They're uh, pretty excited most times when we're rolling through. Everyone's videotaping and, uh, I don't know, it's just something to, you know, kind of get, get the attention of the hockey team out there and let people know that we got a game and stuff. And people love it. You know, we got videos all the time of, you know, people snapping us going through and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. So, 
And what are you looking forward to most about the season? Um, it, you know, it's there's going to be a lot of big games this year, so we want to win. Obviously, that's our team goal and get to regionals. Um, that's going to be a big thing for our school and for our teams. We're a club sport. It kind of puts us on the map, um, you know, compared to other teams in the south. And, you know, our goal is to make regionals and nationals after that if we can do it. Um, you know, but just having a good time and, you know, being around the guys and doing stuff like this, it's, it's kind of fun. It makes it, you know, good team camaraderie. So it's fun. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Seahawks Central Sports. I'm Jordan Hardrick along with Sarah Tamer here signing off. And be sure to follow us at UNCW Teal TV on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube to stay current and up to date with everything UNCW. Have a fun and safe weekend, Seahawks. And don't forget to be real and keep it teal. See you guys next week.